Doug Kite here at Gillette Stadium with this week's video mailbag. First question comes from Mr. Quindazzi, who asks, do you think the Patriots have been too conscious of mobile quarterbacks in their game planning? I think it's a fair topic to tackle here since the Patriots have had to face so many mobile quarterbacks, Ryan Tannehill, even Andy Dalton, Russell Wilson, Tyrod Taylor. Now they have Colin Kaepernick in week 11. So it's another week where the Patriots might not pin their ears back and rush after the quarterback. Chris Long was asked about this this week. He said that it would be a lot more fun to just be able to rush the quarterback, but they have to be responsible. They have to make sure that those quarterbacks don't get out of the pocket. They don't hurt teams with their legs. And the Patriots really do not want these quarterbacks to make plays with their legs. They would much rather them force them to throw the ball, make plays with their arm. But that puts a lot of pressure on the Patriots cornerbacks. And the Patriots cornerbacks have struggled a little bit so far this season, especially that number two, number three role. Logan Ryan hasn't had a great season. Justin Coleman, Eric Rowe. It's been a revolving door of players at those two and three positions behind Malcolm Butler at the number one role. So I think it might make sense to actually get a little bit more aggressive this week against Colin Kaepernick. He's not quite the passer that a guy like Russell Wilson or even Tyrod Taylor is. So maybe you do try to hurry him a little bit, make sure that he th makes some mistakes. Patriots have done a pretty terrible job of taking the ball away this season. And they've had more turnovers than in recent years. So I think that I would personally like to see them be more aggressive. I think this is the quarterback to do it. This is the time to do it. I think the Patriots can beat the 49ers, even if Kaepernick has a big game with his legs. So. Second question comes from Patrick, who asks, how are they going to deal with missing Collins since it's quite clear they missed him last game? Yes, the Patriots did miss Jamie Collins against the Seahawks. There's no really easy way to put that. Rookie linebacker Landon Roberts certainly struggled, struggled in the run game to get off blocks, struggled in the passing game, let up two big plays. So I'm not really sure what they do. I think they can have some patience there with Roberts. He was definitely better earlier in the season when he wasn't in that full-time role, I think. This week against the 49ers, Roberts does stay in that number two linebacker role. I expect him to play most of the snaps. But if he falters, if he continues to struggle, then I think that we will start to see guys like Kyle Van Noy, Barkevius Mingo, even maybe Shea McClellan get some more snaps in that linebacker role. I still don't totally agree with the move of trading Jamie Collins. I thought that he was one of the most talented players there on the defense, and they certainly could have used him against the Seahawks. Bill Belichick at this point just has to hope that that isn't going to hinder their chances of winning another Super Bowl this season. That will do it for this week's video mailbag. To get on next week's mailbag, tweet me at Doug Kide using the hashtag MailDog, and I will either answer your question by video or in text.